video, I'm going to discuss about the conformation structures of cyclopentane. This is pulled out from the degree first semester syllabus, that is alicyclic hydrocarbons, chapter six. The whole chapter has been discussed on my YouTube channel, and the details of this has been, below, been given below in the description box. If you like it, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Yes, uh, now let's discuss about the conformational structures of cyclopentane here. Yes, if you look at the structure of the cyclopentane, it's nothing but a five-membered ring, the cyclic ring with two carbons on e two hydrogens on each of these carbons. So the molecular formula is nothing but C5H10 here and uh, consisting of 10 hydrogens. But if you assume that cyclopentane were to be planar like this, it's a simple pentagon, regular pentagon, with an interior in angle of 108 degrees. So this is very close to that of a tetrahedral angle, that is 109.5 degrees. So according to the Bayer's theory, we have already seen that any cyclic structure with a tetrahedral angle of 109.5 degrees is very stable because it is free from any type of strain that is a ring strain, I mean the angle strain. So if it were to be planar, then the cyclopentane, you can see the structure here, if it were to be planar, it's free from angle strain because the interior angle is 108 degrees, which is very close to that of a tetrahedral angle, that is 109.5 degrees. But we can see that when we see this flat cyclopentane, that means it is planar, all the five carbon atoms are in one plane, We there is no ang angle strain, okay. But if you see the hydrogens on all these carbon atoms, the hydrogens are eclipsed here. That means they are present just one behind another. So on the adjacent carbon atoms, that means on the vicinal uh, carbon atoms, the hydrogen atoms which are present on these vicinal carbon atoms are in eclipsed conformation where there is a lot of torsional strain. So if the hydrogens which are present on the adjacent carbon atoms are in eclipsed position, they are, they are facing a torsional strain. So there is no angle strain, but there is lots of torsional strain in this as uh, the hydrogen atoms on the carbon atoms are in eclipsed conformation. So uh, there is 10 kilocalories per mole of torsional strain, which means a lot. So in order to relieve from this torsional strain, that means the cyclopentane now assumes a puckered shape or a non-planar shape. That means all the five carbon atoms are not in one plane. So if you see the structure, see these four carbon atoms are in one plane. If you assume, I mean, if you number them uh, for convenience, so one, two, this is third carbon atom and this is fourth carbon atom and now remember this as five. So the fifth carbon atom is out of the plane here. That is, it is below the plane of the uh, other four carbon atoms here. So now there is, uh, the, there is a certain amount of relief from the torsional strain here because this fifth carbon atom is below the plane of the other four carbon atoms. So these two hydrogen atoms are not in eclipsed position with the other four, uh, with the hydrogens of the other four carbon atoms. But uh, if we observe uh, the hydrogens on C1 and C2 or C2 or C3 or C3 and C4, they're still uh, in eclipsed conformation. So there is a torsional strain which is present in this uh, uh, non-planar conformation. That is, it is nothing but an mm, envelope form. It looks like an envelope. So this uh, is, uh, this form is given, the shape is given an envelope shape here. So 
uh, when we look at this, uh, this uh, suppose we view from this position that is a C1 carbon atom, this is the fifth carbon atom which is out of the plane, but there is still uh, uh, the hydrogens on C1 and C2 or C2 at C3 and C3 and C4 are in eclipsed conformation. So there is torsional strain which is present in this envelope form. So when you look at this uh, Newman pro projection formula, you can understand it better. Uh, so uh, uh, see here, uh, C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. So the C5 is out of the plane, but other four carbon atoms are in the plane. There is certain amount of torsional strain which is present. So now the cyclopentane now assumes a envelope form or half shear form in order to reduce the torsional strain, in order to relief from this torsional strain which is present in the planar cyclopentane. So this envelope form all the four carbon atoms in one plane here and this uh, one carbon atom is above the plane of the molecule or that means it's out of the plane of the other four carbon atoms and this stress cyclopentane or it can attain this half chair conformation also where three carbon atoms we assume them as one uh, to number them for uh, this is three and one two three four and five so three carbon atoms are in one plane here one two and three fourth one is above the plane and fifth carbon atom is below the plane of the molecule this is nothing but a half chair form there is a relief from the torsional strain in this but there's not perfectly staggered cc bonds again um, so on c1 c2 and c3 carbon atoms there is a, a uh, i mean the, uh, the hydrogens on these carbon atoms are in uh, yeah, if you look at this, you can understand it a better way. See here, see uh, in envelope form, this is one, two, three, four, and five. So these four carbon atoms are in one plane and the four carbon number four is above the plane of the molecule. So the hydrogens which are present on C1, C2, or C2, C3, C3, and C5, uh face this uh torsional strain because the hydrogens which are present on them are in eclipsed conformation again when we look at this half chair conformation this carbon is above the plane and this carbon is below the plane of the molecule uh so there is relief from the torsional strain to a certain extent but still the hydrogens which are present on the other carbon atoms which are in the plane of the molecule still face this eclipse conformation i mean eclipsed uh, torsional strain because of the eclipsed conformation of the hydrogens which are present on these three carbon atoms so so here uh again this carbon atom here that means uh, let's remember this five here this fifth carbon atom uh, is not fixed so uh, it sometimes this fourth the other carbon atoms will go above the plane and the other four carbon atoms will be in the plane of the molecule so this is called as pseudo rotation because they will be continuously uh, interchanging in between these uh, conformations where one of the carbon atoms will go above or below the plane of the molecule and this is called a pseudo rotation. So at one point of time C5 carbon atom is above the plane and another point of time this maybe the fourth carbon is above the plane or and in some other point of time the C3 carbon atom is above the plane of the molecule so it's continuously interchanging between all this uh, conformation and this is called as pseudo rotation and the same is happening and the same is true in the case of this half chair form also where the there is a 
there is a, an interchangeability in, in between these conformations where the different carbon atoms may be above or below the plane of the carbon, I mean, plane or above or below the plane of the molecule. In this case, the C4 is above the plane and C5 is below the plane of the molecule. But in at other point of time, the C3 will above the plane and uh, C2 is below the plane of the molecule. So this continuously interchangeable in with in between this conformation and this particular uh, interchangeability is called as pseudo rotation. And um, so uh, between these two conformations, that is that envelope and the half chair form, half chair form is little more stable. That means that there's not much energy difference between these two, but it's a very little energy difference that is around 0.5 kilocalories per mole, which is very less, but still there is some amount of energy difference between these two, that is uh, envelope form and uh, half chair form, which means that the half chair form is more stable than any other conformations of cyclopentane. So in order to relieve from this torsional strain, the cyclopentane here is not existing in the planar form, but it assumes the envelope form or half chair form in order to relieve from this torsional strain. So in this case, uh, the torsional strain is uh, getting relieved because of the change in the conformation uh, of the cyclopentane from the flat molecule to the envelope or the half chair form. This is what is about cyclopentane conformations.